Presidential family member and White House aide Jared Kushner broke his silence today in his first extended TV interview since Trump was elected, a 43-minute discussion that was often boastful, sometimes defensive, and at several points, honestly, bizarre. Now, for context, before I break this down, here are some of the questions Kushner was presented with. How did you get this job? <laughs> I mean, it's like you have like the dopest job in the world, like the you know, secretary of everything. Did the buggy when they call it secretary of everything? Are you having fun? Because all we hear about is the chaos and the destruction, and you guys are all going to be just blown away by a meteor called, uh, what's, you know, Mueller. I mean, from our point of view, like, you know, you're like pinatas over there. Um, yeah, I, I, are you having any fun? So that's what he was up against. But Kushner's responses themselves presented an image of hard and quiet work. I don't make a lot of noise. Uh, so noise is sometimes made about me, but I try to keep my head down. Now, Jared Kushner is powerful but rarely heard. So it is revealing to hear his own assessment of his work so far, whether you agree with it or not. So here is how Kushner grades himself on the assignment of achieving peace in the Middle East. The president asked me to do the Middle East peace process, which is something that uh, I think we've made a lot of progress on. I'm, I'm, I'm as optimistic as you can be about that. I was given the Middle East peace process between the Israelis and the Palestinians, and I've dealt with a lot of the uh, other uh, regional partners in that effort. A lot of progress are the key words there from Kushner. But experts say there is almost no progress, no peace deal, and the principles in this process haven't even met in the past six months. That's about 25% of the entire time Kushner has held this post. Now, today, Kushner said his other big priority, other than the Middle East, is reforming the prison system. He cited his father's time in prison and how he is working with Nancy Pelosi on a reform bill called the First Step Act. And then there was one issue that was very close to my heart because I had a personal experience, uh, which was prison reform. If you have somebody in prison for 10 years, you can say, uh, would you rather them go back after 10 years of no programming to the streets? It's That's called the First Step Act. The goal is for it to be the first step towards hopefully broader reforms. I'm for progress. I'm for moving forward. And I'm hoping that uh, a lot of the people in, in, in the House and the Senate will be with us as well. He's hoping. And Obviously, there are ways that Donald Trump has dabbled on an individual basis with pardons, but Kushner has access to real power every day. And yet, let's get into the facts. Here are just three of the prison reform bills that are talked about regularly, the Smarter Sentencing Act, the Sentencing Reform and Corrections Act, and as he just mentioned, the First Step Act. So if this is one of Kushner's top priorities and he has this access to the president, have any of these bills passed out of Congress or gotten floor votes to test their support? No. None of them have ever gotten a vote on the Senate floor, let alone a presidential signature from his father-in-law. So let's be clear, whether the ideas expressed in those bills are good and whether Mr. Kushner sincerely believes them is fine, open question. But Republicans can control Congress. And when they get a real Trump priority from the Trump White House, like tax cuts or judicial appointments or Supreme Court nominations, they get votes. So it's telling that here, this is the result. Now, those are Kushner's own stated priorities. We also want to note that while he spoke for 43 minutes, he didn't address his own record and conduct in matters like the Russia probe or his attendance at the Trump Tower meeting under investigation or advising on the firing of James Comey or his misstatements regarding his security clearance. This list, as you may know if you watch the news, goes on and on and on. So on Kushner's own priorities on prison reform and Middle East peace, no measurable result. And on a bunch of those other issues, no discussion whatsoever in this rare chance to address the public. So here we are looking at this rare set of updates, if you want to call them that, from Jared Kushner. And we have to ask, how do you measure that kind of record for management? Well, there is a way to do it. We turn back to Jared Kushner, who offered this tip today. In business, I would always say, if you can't measure something, you can't manage it. Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here, or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us, and we appreciate that.